The CEO of Turkish Aerospace, Dr. Temel Kotal, was the guest of Fadi Altaili at One on One Science Program. Dr. Kotal made an important speech on TV. Dr. Kotal noted that Turkish Aerospace aiming to employ 10,000 engineers by 2028. Currently, Turkish Aerospace employ 4,000 engineers from different branches. 2,000 of those engineers have a master degree, and 100 of them hold a PhD degree, mostly in aviation. Turkish Aerospace, while is aiming to improve human resources, makes investments in infrastructures. The second biggest wind tunnel in Europe will be operational in 2022, currently under construction for Turkish Aerospace in Turkey. Besides that, Turkish Aerospace bought a supercomputer with 50,000 CPU additional to their two 10,000 CPU computers. Also, different infrastructure works are continuing. 3.5 billion volt capacity lighting test laboratory for aircraft currently under construction with the world fourth biggest composite production facility. In addition to the supercomputer, Turkish Aerospace also bought a 3D printer that can use aluminium and titanium for production in 6 by 6 meters. In addition to the infrastructure investments, Turkish Aerospace also established an AI department for unmanned systems. Projects TFX The Turkish fifth-generation fighter aircraft project is under development phase. Turkish Aerospace is planning to first engine run in 2023 and the first flight in 2025. If the current track is followed in the future, TFX will be operational in 2029 for the Turkish Air Force. For the prototype and serial product and composite product and TFX can achieve 1.4 Mach without an afterburner. And the unit cost will be around $100 million. Hercus Hercus development works are continuing. Next generation Hercus will have more composite structure. Herjet CDR phase has been completed, and the first flight targeted to the end of 2022. T-129 attack. Currently, the production line works with a 2 unit per month rate. Export license for 30 units still waiting for a green light from American Congress. Also, Turkish Aerospace is going to export 6 T-129 attack helicopter to the Philippines. Negotiations for more export agreements are continuing with different countries. Gok Bay the first three Gok Bay helicopter will be delivered in 2022 to Turkish Gendarme Forces. Turkish Gendarme Forces will get 20 Gok Bay helicopters. T-929 Attack 2 The heavy class helicopter development works are continuing. The first flight will be on March 18, 2023. The T-929 is going to Ukrainian-made engines.